briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a move that has captured the nation's attention, Voyager's National Park has controversially closed specific trails, lakeshores, and lakes to snowmobiles and other motorized vehicles under the initiative of the National Park Service, NPS, and the Fish and Wildlife Service. Closures were initiated primarily to protect the endangered gray wolves from potential harassment or harm. However, these closures led to a heated legal battle as they were challenged by fervent snowmobilers. The snowmobilers, who passionately enjoy their pastime in the scenic park, filed a lawsuit against the Secretary of the Interior and various other government entities. They staunchly argued that the closures were arbitrary, capricious, and in direct violation of the Endangered Species Act, ESA, and the Administrative Procedure Act, APA. They maintained that the government did not provide adequate justification for the closures, accusing the evidence in support of the action as insufficient to establish that reducing snowmobile activities would enhance the condition of the gray wolf population. The initial judgment by the district court fell in favor of the snowmobilers, on the ground that the government failed to sufficiently explain the basis of the closures. Yet the district court's intriguing decision set off its own wave of legal counteraction. The association, later granted the right to intervene in the case, vehemently disagreed with the ruling and launched an appeal against the district court's decision, stirring the waters of the legal dispute. Ultimately, the case was escalated to the doorstep of the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. The court found that the National Park Service's closure decision was indeed valid and not arbitrary or capricious. The court based this on the reasoning that closure orders were issued in line with critical management objectives, most notably including the preservation and protection of wildlife. The court cited the Fish and Wildlife Service's substantial biological opinions and incidental take statements as the convincing evidence supporting their decision. The court determined that the National Park Service was within its rights to protect wildlife under the guiding principles of 36 CFR Section 7.33 B.3 and other key regulatory provisions. Consequently, the district court's previous ruling was reversed, and judgment was proudly entered in favor of the federal defendants and the interveners. This chapter in the history of Voyager's National Park marks a landmark decision upholding the protection of nature over recreational activities. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.